Hey, <clears throat> uh, now I would like to show you the, uh, the factor number two, which is check coverage and indexing in major bibliographic databases. And the reason why we look into this is because you would like to reach your audience. Uh, if you are in, in a certain field in science, you may like to reach the people that are reading about exactly those things that you write about. And one of the databases that you certainly would like to be a part of or like included in is the Web of Science, which is the major database for citations and so forth. So you really would like to be in Web of Science. Uh, a database that you also would like to be in is in Google Scholar. Uh, I would say that you will be included in Google Scholar whether you want, want it or not, because Google Scholar is not picky about quality, they take everything. And I wouldn't call Google Scholar as a bibliographic database of quality, it's more like catch-all database. So don't consider Google Scholar as a major bibliographic database. It's not picky about quality. Uh, okay, let's look at the Web of Science uh, interface. If, if you would like to be in Web of Science, you have to be included. Your journal has to be included. And as you can see, there is uh, a link to the Web of Science Master Journals list on this uh, page. And I will uh, right click and I will open it like this. Uh, and then you come to this interface, which you have seen before if you have looked at this match manuscript uh, function previously. Uh, if you haven't, uh, I will show you a little bit what it's all about. Uh, okay, I will pick one journal in random. I found a thesis at KDH Place, and then I found this one, uh, which happened to be included in the Electronic Journal of Combinatorics. Uh, okay, this journal, we are interested in this journal. So I go to this Web of Science and Master Journal list and I paste in the title of this journal like this. And I say search journals. Yep. And then I'm happy to see that Electronic Journal of Combinatorics is included in the Science Citation Index Expanded. So we are safe. Uh, this journal is included in the Web of Science database. Now, if I would like to see some more information about this journal, I can click on this View Profile page. And what happens now is, uh oh, I have to log in. Uh, as previously I showed you when I was looking at the uh, match journal uh, in this database, uh, you can create a free account to get this access. Um, and I have, luckily enough, I have already an account, so I will log in with my credentials like this. And then I see much more information all of a sudden. I see the journal website, I can see the frequencies monthly, I can see the link to the aims and scope, I can see many things about this journal, which um, is quite handy to, to have if you are evaluating this particular journal. If I scroll down a bit, I will also see some other information, like the impact factor uh, 2018 was 0.7. And I can see some open access information. I can see the peer-reviewed information, peer review information, and so forth. Uh, so by logging into this place, you will find, apart from knowing that this particular journal is included in the Web of Science, uh, I also have some more information about the journal that can be useful when deciding whether to submit to this journal or not. So that's about it for now. Thank you so much.